Welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, this is episode 4 in the How to Bypass WAF series. Uh, in this episode, I'm gonna uh, show you some uh, real world uh, experience like how you can use the intruder feature of the burp to actually bypass some of this WAF. Uh, the only thing is, I don't, I don't know, like uh, the demo.as file which I'm testing uh, does have a WAF, uh, it, it's behind the WAF. I, I don't think so, it is. So that's why probably when you are testing or when you when you want to try it out, probably find a site which is behind the WAF and then you can you can do all those different things. But first off, what I wanted to show you is let's say there is a request. Uh, just just imagine any any request, right? Like here we have this login request, but could be anything. And and we want to we want to uh, target like different things uh, and, and enumerate or fuss uh, the different uh, methods, the values and, and content type and everything to see based on the response we can either guess what the WAF, if there is a WAF or not and second if we can bypass the WAF. So one of the example is, so the first one what we're doing here is this is uh, different methods. Uh, that we can use right uh, these are some of the common method names that that one can use so for example if you go to the position here probably will clear this out and instead of user id and password we can we can try or actually not this one sorry clear uh, clear this but instead of submit we want to try this different payloads uh, so what it does is like these are some common method names that you would see across like several application right so uh, and and we can try and then see what the result uh, is here so if you start the attack now usually if you sometimes get like you know uh, here we, we are getting 302 because probably we don't have the session but then you can filter uh, using some certain like different response Sometimes you might get 403 uh, based if there is a WAF or anything in specific. So that's how you can uh, you can determine whether uh, like you know this is actually vulnerable or not. Uh, the next thing we're gonna try is different methods. Uh, sometimes the application only accept the post and get, but then if you if you try a number of different methods, it might work. And you would think, oh, post, put, delete is are the only methods, but no. If you if you go down this list, there are just so many methods out there uh, which you can try and 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 enumerate. So here, what you need to do is uh, again clear everything. So highlight this post, add this function, and then start the attack. Uh, so here, as you can see, uh, we are oh we are also getting four or five, which is method not allowed. So okay, so that's good. Here it says not implemented. So this is what you've been looking for right if you get like a 403 or something then you can say like okay there might be a WAF uh, we have uh, the third thing uh, the third payload we want to try is different uh, payloads uh, like the actual payloads to the to, to the form like here we are I know uh, we are only dealing with the uh, okay login page but let's say suppose you have a search page or something you have to try different payloads and, and enumerate and, and see which one might work, right? So again, I'm gonna clear this instead of login. Let's try this payload and you can see different events, right? Some events might be blocked by the WAF, some might not. And one thing I probably should tell you is in HTML5, you could, you could have all the events for all the tags, irrespective of whether it makes sense or not. So that makes it even more interesting for us as a pen tester. So here, uh, if you see again, yeah, all of those are 302. So uh, this is not really uh, vulnerable to it. Um, next thing I want to try is the, it looks like, okay, yeah, it looks like uh, uh, the content type. So here, if we clear this and content type, yes. So let's add this and and as you can see, like the first one is obviously uh, the default one, but then uh, this this is also sometimes useful to try for the file upload vulnerabilities. When you want to try this, uh, you want to try different content type and see if any of the content type is actually uh, allowed by the application and probably try to upload, update that, uh, try to upload that kind, that kind of file and 
hopefully get like you know remote code execution or something okay so this is going to take a while to complete but we don't need to continue that but i wanted to show you like this is one of the other attack points that you can try and and see if the waf is in place uh this one is uh, is also interesting because you also can enumerate the user agent right uh, uh this one is uh, you highlight this portion and and as you can see we, we're gonna try different user agent and and hopefully see if uh, if waf allows or application allows a particular user agent versus block certain things you can al actually also mix and match you can also do like a payload you can you can because certain uh browser does not allow certain payloads uh, for cross site scripting for example and certain browser does so you can also do like uh i, I don't know i think I, we have done uh, previously a uh, intruder specific video how to how to like use this particular feature but the one that we used was sniper but you can also do like cluster cluster bomb uh, where you can configure like multiple payloads so uh, how it works is like let's say if i add here right now i can i can select uh wait oh no go here yes so now i can select okay which one uh, I, I can load multiple payloads and and then i can also if you go to the options you can also do like error handling if you're getting too many error you can also grab uh if the particular response is coming back to you or you are particularly interested about so you can you can do all those fun stuff but the main goal here is you want to make sure whenever you want to detect uh, you have this list ready so just keep keep this kind of like you know list with you and then uh, whenever you get an application take a sample request run through this list it doesn't take more than 5 10 minutes and see uh, observe the response you might find something interesting uh, that's what I've, i've been seeing every now and then and sometimes it might surprise you that yeah this this is the payload that i would have never tried or or the burp uh, scanner might not try but the list that you have and and you can always upgrade your list right whenever you find some new payloads you can keep uh, adding to the list and that's how uh, even i have got to it so probably yeah try it out and 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 let me know uh, how that works um so that's pretty much it uh, probably i'll i'll have one more uh, bypass uh episode for the next week uh, that's focusing on the cross site scripting but i think uh, we have we have covered uh, quite a lot in in how to bypass the application filter or the web application firewall hope you like it if you do please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and also uh, let me know your feedback and and experience with this and if you have any uh, like you know any any of your experience where you were able to use any payload to bypass things uh, please post it so the community can also use it Uh thank you so much and I'll see you guys all next week bye